Greetings FBLA members, my name is Max Mitchell, I serve as the 2017-2018 FBLA National President. Today I have a very special guest, his name is Arnie Alger, he was an FBLA member for several years and his career has prospered because of it. So uh, I'm going to let him introduce himself and we can go ahead and right into the interview. So Mr. Alger, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, uh, my name is Arnie Alger, I uh, grew up in uh, Wisconsin. Um, in my uh, senior year in high school, um, my business professor um, asked me to join uh, Future Business Le Leaders of America. So it was the first time that we uh, went to state competition, and uh, with all that, uh, I was pretty nervous about it all. But um, it was a great uh, kickoff to my uh, business career, and um, it's just been a fabulous uh, um, introduction to my business career. And, and my, been able to do throughout my uh, throughout my lifetime. All right, perfect. Well, we're glad to have you here, and I think you kind of my first question you kind of already touched on, but what inspired you to get into FBLA, and what gave you the the chance and and the self confidence to continue to join and be involved in FBLA? Well, I was working actually. <laughs> you have to remember that my hometown is like twelve hundred people, so I was working with a um, small grocery. Um, uh, chain and I was um, learning the business from uh, from the owner of that and Mr. Bratz uh, brought me into the, uh, the business curriculum which I really enjoyed um, but um, you know as far as the FBLA goes it was just yeah I was just curious I think and that's what kind of led me into it and you know it's one of these things where you kind of take a step at a time and you kind of wonder if you're if you're doing anything right but um, it, it seemed to, to work pretty well. So I, I was actually very pleased with joining the FBA. Interesting. So you were curious. That's always interesting to hear. Uh, my second question is, how has FBLA influenced your college and career decisions later on? Well, I think, I think it gave me the courage and the confidence. You know, again, growing up in a very small town, um, you, don't, you don't get much of that in terms of the real world. And so this kind of brought me out into the real world a little bit. And, and Mr. Bratz was a great supporter. I mean, he just uh, held my hand all the, all the way through this thing and, and through the state competition and stuff. So, you know, with that, uh, that confidence and with that support, I think it really, really helped my, my career a lot. Awesome. Well, having been in FBLA, then going off to college, and then working in a professional career, what kind of success stories have you heard from other members about how FBLA has impacted them? Well, every once in a while, I get a call from Mr. Bratz, who's now retired. But um, but uh, like our again, our small school, here's an opportunity for kids in a very small community to to grow and to be really on a national audience. And so I know that uh, that our school has been to um, to the national debates and some of the competition in uh, Washington D.C. and that. So, so it's it's really a, an avenue for us to uh, bring people that wouldn't necessarily be um, in those kind of environments. I mean, again, this is a dairy community that we grew up, dairy farm community that I grew up in, and here we are on a national stage. So it provides us with that. Um, you know, with that real, real um, openness that you can kind of take a look at. And again, if you're curious, you can go many, many places. Perfect. Well, I think you've kind of touched on this as well, but as a member, what kind of benefits did you receive from being a member in FBLA? Well, I think the biggest benefit is really the support. Um, you know, you're, again, if you're kind of ignorant and uh, don't know much about things, the FBLA provides really a lot of guidance and uh, support for for your ability to kind of stay within the future business leaders of America, but also to kind of take that along with you in your career. Awesome. And, and, and there's another question, you know, I asked you to do this interview, but what prompted you to want to do this interview, and, and what prompted you to that, that you wanted to share your story with other FBLA members? You know, one of the things I really believe, um, and as I come through my career, um, is really about giving back. And I've been in several um, organizations throughout my career where I've had to mentor people, uh, mentor um, that have worked for me. I've had to mentor people in um, you know, junior achievement, for example. I've um, uh, taught some classes. Um, at Gonzaga, I was on their board of ethics and leadership. 
So again, it's it's really about giving back at this point and really helping people to see the brighter brighter side of things. And again, you know, it's an easy sell for me because I grew up in this small town and it was pretty pretty <laughs> didn't know much about what was going on. So it, it's it's a good it's a good. Story. So moving into the career aspect of FBLA, what is your current position now, and what, where have you worked in you know your career after FBLA? So my whole background is really Fortune 500 companies. Um, I have a degree, undergraduate degree in accounting, and a graduate degree in uh, international finance. So my whole background has been tied to the finance area. Um, my whole career has been more or less tied up with Fortune 500 companies. Everything from 3M Company, Mattel Toys, um, Nestle, uh, Starbucks, T-Mobile. Um, so they've been some pretty pretty heavy hitters and stuff. And I think part of it is um, that I, I just there's two things to me that are very important in in careers. One is curiosity, which we already talked about a little bit, but the other is integrity and honesty. And I think that um, FBLA kind of um, picks that up and helps you with that. So during my career, I just brought those two along and it took me a lot of places. <laughs> so Perfect. And and in your career, what was probably the most challenging aspect for you and how did FBLA help prepare you for those moments? Well, in, in my business, um, right now I do a lot of consulting. And so it's, it's really about the courage uh, to get out there and, and um, and come up with new ideas. You know, I'm, I'm a business consultant right now after working in the finance area and stuff. And so one of the big challenges that we always have is coming up with new and creative ideas about problem solving. And I think that is one of the one of the most um, interesting things in my career. And so I think FBLA helps you do that. Again, it's, it's that take one step at a time and you've got that support to kind of help you along. And that's, what they, that's really what they teach you. Interesting. Um, now, so obviously you were in FBLA a few years back, uh, but it's the organization at, you know has stayed you know relatively the same for those years. But what are some things that your chapter did when you were in high school that you would think that maybe today we don't do as often or that we don't necessarily uh, would follow in? Well, admittedly, it's been quite a few years, but uh, <laughs> but you know, it's um, I think it's um, probably getting out to the uh, community. Um, you know, it's it's about uh, really understanding business, whether it's big corporations or even small businesses. Uh, keep in mind what the name is. It's Future Business Leaders of America. And, and the key word there is future leaders. And so you, you can't be a leader unless you're actually out there doing stuff. So, um, you know, Mr. Bratz, for example, when I was here, was very, um, very interested in the local community and stuff. And we did different things and had uh, talks with some of the local businesses. Keep in mind, they were pretty small, but for us, they were big time. But, you know, I think just being connected to the good leaders in the community will help you. Awesome. And, you know, you often, uh, throughout this interview, you've brought up your advisor, Mr. Bratz. What are some characteristics that you found in him to be an effective advisor and how he's been able to impact your life? Um, well, he's uh, turned out to be a really good friend. We. After all these years, we still are in connection, and uh, you know, we, we try to stay in contact with each other and stuff. And I think that's really important. Um, he served as a mentor to me early on, and um, I think the um, the best thing that I can give back to him is that I've done a good job through my career. Awesome. And a couple final few questions. Um, what are some tips that you would give to some students who want to go into business or consulting or Fortune 500 companies? Uh, how would you tell them to get into the field, and, and what kind of advice would you give them when they're in that field? Well, I, I, the only advice I say is just do it. <laughs> you know, it's it's one of these things where, you know, it's taking that first step, and, and it doesn't have to be a leap. It can just be, you know, a little tap in the water kind of thing to get started. But more importantly, probably, is just have a a clear dream and what you want you know it doesn't have to be on paper or anything like that although it helps but it's really just about really being having that clarity with what you want to do and just do it. perfect all right now 
what is one memory that stands out to you from FBLA, and why does it stand out to you? Well, I don't know if this is going to go on the interview, <laughs> but Mr. Broad sent me down to the Green Lake uh, Conference, and the first question I had was, will there be girls there? <laughs> and uh, so... <laughs> Um, you can scratch that from the record if you want. But, um, you know, I think the, the first thing um, that was just to, um, the excitement, I think, and the curiosity of, you know, what is this? Perfect. All right. Now, I saved the hardest question for last, and that is, how would you describe FBLA PBL in one word, and why that word? So, I do a lot of uh, um, career um you know, counseling and things like that. And the word that came up to my mind was transformation. You know, again, in my case, you know, growing up in a very small community, uh, this might be true for even people in big cities and stuff, but here's an opportunity for an organization, for you to belong to an organization that really can transform you. And that's why it's really key is, is that transformation. Transformation. That's interesting. Well, uh, I do appreciate your time, Mr. Alger. Uh, remember, members, th this week is FBLA PBL week, so be sure to check out as we have more interviews with past uh, members, alumni, and national officer. Thank you, Mr. Alger, for joining us here today, and we look forward to hearing you later uh, in the future from FBLA. Thank you, Mr. Alger. It's been a total, total pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you.